What's up music lovers? Thanks for clicking on my channel and welcome to a series I call Music Notes where I share my thoughts on some random issue or subject relating to music or the music industry and I usually try my best to make sure there's a really obnoxious thumbnail to go along with it. And I wanted to share my thoughts about the use of AI in the music industry because especially the last year or two there's been a lot of doomerism and a lot of negative predictions about the effect that AI is going to have for musicians in the future. Predictions like this is the end of music and AI will make songwriting obsolete and musicians are never going to be able to make money off of their music anymore and all of the big record labels are going to have just this corporate, soulless, really cheap driven music that's just going to dominate the airwaves. And I might have a bit more of an optimistic outlook for the future because when I hear takes like that I just sort of think to myself, well yeah, what else is new? Now I fully agree with the notion that AI should be reserved for doing things that we don't want to do like filing taxes, getting a new insurance policy, going to that one co-worker's farewell party. But I do think that some of the fears regarding AI and the future of the music industry are a bit overblown, and I'll do my best to explain why I have that view. But before we get into all that, if you like hard rock, heavy metal, progressive rock, just music in general, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like, comment, all that YouTube stuff. I know it's a cliche to ask, but it really does help the channel grow, and who knows, you might uh, help prevent an AI Armageddon by supporting an actual musician. So the first reason I'm not too worried about AI coming in and ruining the careers for us musicians and taking away all of our money is because, for me personally, at least right now, there isn't really that much money to begin with, so I'm not really losing much, am I? <laughs> in all seriousness, though, a lot of the musicians today who get to a level where they can live off their music get there by building up a fan base and slowly building their audience one person at a time, and by the time they get to the level where they're living off their music, their fans are not just listening to their music because they like the music, they're listening to their music more often than not because they like the person making it. Additionally, there's still always going to be a demand for live musicians and cover bands and for teachers, so AI is going to be more competition, but the music industry is already pretty competitive as it is, so that isn't much of a change. There's never any guarantees in going into the music industry, so you kind of just accept that as part of the deal when you're getting into it. And talking about the fear that music will become completely soulless and it's just going to be this cynical machine that these gigantic record companies pump out in order to make a ton of money and there's industry plants and yada 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 and all that stuff, once again I sort of feel like but what else is new? When you think about these massive artists who sell out stadium tours and are constantly in the news cycle and have multi, multi platinum selling albums, they are on such a different world than most run of the mill everyday musicians that they might as well be AI robots as far as I'm concerned. Like they just exist on a plane so far out of reach and honestly, a plane that I don't really care about reaching myself personally and I think a lot of musicians kind of agree where as long as I can live off my music, I don't care to ever reach that level of fame. Now that's not to say that I don't have some concerns about how AI might be implemented in the future with regards to songwriting. I could easily see someone trying to just program an AI algorithm to write a bunch of songs and then go after every single person who writes a song that is similar to what the AI put out and try to sue them for royalties or for something else or say that they were infringing on their copyright. And while I'm a bit concerned about that happening, fear and concern are two different things and I'm cautiously optimistic that that won't happen. I'm definitely not a lawyer but I do think there probably is a good case to be made that doing something like that would be infringing on other people's freedom of expression and if there was someone trying to just take money and royalties from as many people as possible, there'd be so many people getting burned by it and perhaps more importantly there'd be so many big institutions like record labels or people who own the masters of certain artists' songs that are getting burned by it that I feel like there would be some lawsuit that comes about that makes it untenable to do something like that. I've also seen some news stories where people have already used AI to make a bunch of songs and then entered those songs in the public domain. You could also make an argument that even though an AI might have written a song that is very similar to what you wrote, you still wrote the song independently and that's just coincidental and you still own the rights to the uh, recordings of that music. So, like I said, it could happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And in the broader context, people being hostile to new technological innovations coming into the music industry or people coming up with excuses for why you can never make it as a musician isn't really anything new. Electric guitars, synthesizers, 
turntables, MIDI instruments, the internet, MTV, auto-tune. All of these things at one time or another were seen as things that killed real music and made it impossible for musicians to succeed in the industry. And as time went on, the music industry and musicians in general just sort of incorporated them all into what it means to be a musician and things for the most part were pretty okay. And I could be wrong, nobody can see the future, we don't really know what's going to happen, but going beyond the debate around AI, I think at its core there's sort of this more underlying pessimism about aspiring to be a musician or the music industry in general that I've seen a lot of. It takes a lot of different forms, but what it generally comes down to is people being so afraid of the future and having such a negative outlook on it that they use that fear of what might happen in the future as justification for not making the most of the present. Whenever I see those really grim, pessimistic outlooks about the future with regards to whatever going beyond just music, I like to think of a quote from Mark Twain. I've had a lot of worries in my life, most of which never happened. And in my own life personally, I've seen a lot of people use the bad things they think are going to happen as an excuse to not even try. And if I can use my very small and limited reach here on YouTube to encourage people to not listen to that sort of negative mindset and not be discouraged from pursuing their dreams, whether they're music or whatever else, I think that's a good thing to talk about. So if you're an aspiring musician or you want to learn an instrument for the first time, my advice to you is toss aside that fear and just go for it. You might fail, but that's okay. You don't need to be the best, and even if you try it and you fail, you still are way more successful than someone who didn't even try. And even with AI out there, I still think that given the population on the earth and how interconnected we are with technology now, you probably have a better chance now than anyone would have had before of actually making it in the music industry, so just go for it. And no matter what the effects of AI are for the music industry in the future, a machine will never ever be able to take away that joy of you playing music, which if you ask me, is the greatest feeling in the world. I mean, unless it's like some Skynet Terminator T-800 type shit, but uh, look, I mean, if that's happening, we got bigger issues, right? I also have an instrumental song out right now called Waking Giant. If you want to give it a listen, there's links down below. If you like any of the bands behind me, you'll probably really dig it. I think it turned out pretty well. I actually used AI to help mix it, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm contributing to our own downfall. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. There's probably another video popping up somewhere around here. And like always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you at the next video.